let's look at how to clean up your tenon and get it all to a uniform depth, your cheek there, with a router plane, like this Stanley 71, and a shoulder plane. You don't always need these, but those will clean up the shoulders. So I use a hold fast to hold this down. And it's kind of tricky because you got to make sure that your hold fast doesn't get in the way of the router plane. And also you need to make sure you have something else for the other side of the router plane to rest on. And it needs to be the exact same height as what you're, you're on. And if you can secure this down, that's even better. So I basically just stick this on here and adjust your router plane. This router plane, these old 71s sometimes slip. So in the accompanying blog post, I'll share some recommendations for some other newer router planes that I've used that I like. Um, but set, set your marking gauge to hit that line or just, just kissing that line. And then we're going to go down and clean this up. But keep in mind when you flip this over and come from the other side, that's going to be a little bit different distance from the edge. So you'll want to readjust it when you go on the other edge. Now, a spear toothed, a spear point blade will give you a cleaner cut. But these will be inside a mortise, so that won't matter too much. So I hope you can see this. Let's see. I keep checking this because these old ones can go out. It's kind of hard to give you a good angle. And this always happens with the hold fast. You're so far away from the edge that it, it's hard to keep it from slipping. Not the cleanest one. In fact, it's uglier than all the other ones, but I guess when you're filming, it's hard to concentrate on everything. But you get the idea. What it does is this router plane will go to a uniform depth whoop, so that it will fit perfectly in your mortise. And you can see I tore out this other edge. Maybe you can see it because I knocked it out there, but that's because I didn't take the time to come at from there, from this side, to avoid the tear out. So just don't make that mistake. But then make sure you flip this over, readjust, using loosening here and adjusting your screw, and then tightening it so that you hit it from that side on the other side. And then you can use a shoulder plane. If your shoulder needs a little bit cleaning up, if you're not quite to your line, and see, the router plane gave you a nice flat, uniformly flat base to set this on. And so you can run your shoulder plane along that to clean it up. But uh, I would recommend to try fitting it first in your mortise before you use the shoulder plane. And if it doesn't need a little bit of trimming to, to fit down in there a little bit better, you can use that. Make sure the same, you come from here so you don't tear out the edge like I did <laughs> and that will clean up your shoulders on any tenon that you do if you're interested in learning traditional woodworking with hand tools visit my website at woodandshop.com where you'll find free video tutorials buying guides workshop tours and reviews make sure you subscribe to receive my regular blog posts and YouTube videos and don't forget to check out my 10 steps for getting started enjoy